This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 1681. The Diet and Training Combination. Our, if it fits your macros followers, telling the whole truth, part one by JC Dean of jcdfitness.com. And I'm Dr. Neil. Hey there, happy Saturday. Wishing you a generous Ramadan if you celebrate, and welcome back to Optimal Health Daily, where I simply read to you from the best health and fitness blogs for free. Now, before we get to it, if we want to stay healthy, we need to keep a healthy gut microbiome. This connection has been widely recognized by leading scientists studying diabetes, including the American Diabetes Association, the Mayo Clinic, Johns Hopkins, and others. And pendulum glucose control is the first and only medical probiotic clinically shown to help manage type 2 diabetes when taken with medication. If you or someone you love has type 2 diabetes, take control of glucose levels with Pendulum Glucose Control. Use code OHD at PendulumLife.com to get 20% off your first month of membership. Now, today's article is a little longer than normal. So whenever that happens, I read the first half today and then we'll finish up the rest for you tomorrow. So with that, Let's hear part one and start optimizing your life. Are IIFYMers telling the whole truth? Part one by JC Dean of jcdfitness.com. One of my coaching clients sent me an email earlier this year with a question about what to eat and if he had to eat a bunch of bland, boring meals in order to really live this fitness lifestyle. His email read, quote, How do people like yourself who really live this fitness lifestyle really eat? Is the chicken, broccoli, brown rice, sweet potatoes, etc. the truth? Or is that just a myth? I'm not saying this to complain. I have a goal to accomplish. So I have no problem eating the same boring food over and over again. But since I'm able to pick your brain, I just want to know, is it necessary to eat like that in order to get the nice physique that we're all after? End quote. This is a very common question. It's especially so for those who want to change their bodies, lose fat, build muscle, improve their confidence, the whole shebang. With most things health and fitness, everyone has their opinions on training, diet, how to eat for various goals, and how to put it all together. But when it comes to eating, there are typically two types of individuals. We have the clean eating crew and the IIFYM crew. The typical clean eater believes that food should come from unprocessed whole sources, preferably organic or uncontaminated, GMO-free, contain natural ingredients, free of excipients, etc. The IIFYMers believe that as long as you can fit a double Whopper and fries into your daily macros, you're good and it doesn't negatively affect body composition. What is IIFYM? The basic understanding of IIFYM, meaning if it fits your macros, is that you can essentially eat any foods you'd like as long as it falls within your daily caloric needs. But more precisely, as long as those foods fall within your macronutrient goals. The idea is regardless of losing fat, building muscle, or maintaining body composition, as long as you hit your macros, it doesn't matter if it's from pizza and Pop-Tarts or oatmeal and boiled chicken. I don't personally adhere to the IIFYM philosophy as I believe macro and micronutrient intakes matter a great deal for health. In the end, you can definitely alter your body composition eating junk food, but is it going to make you healthy? Probably not. But there's no doubting the calorie balance equation for fat loss, maintenance, and muscle gain. The total amount of food you eat will determine if you gain or lose weight, but the macronutrient ratio tends to influence just how much you can improve your body composition, think less fat, more muscle. I'm not here to argue clean eating over IIFYM. Everyone has their own opinion and that's totally cool. What I'll do today is reveal to you one reality of most IIFYM style diets. Just because you see a basket of greasy fries or a stack of pancakes on Instagram tagged with hashtag IIFYM, it doesn't mean you're getting the whole truth about what people are actually eating a majority of the time. It's just one meal. Most don't go around posting their breakfast of 0% Faye Greek yogurt and melon slices, or they skip out on showing their regular daily serving of oatmeal and egg whites. Instead, they wait until they have that high-fat, high-sugar meal, take 20 picks to get the perfect angle, add a filter, and tag it to eternity. 
To the average person wanting to modify their diet and lose some fat in a healthy way, this can seem super promising at first. Instantly, thoughts like these arise. Quote, if these fit and healthy people can get ripped on high calorie meals, why can't I do the same? Or, this person seemingly eats whatever they want, so this has to be the perfect diet. But for many, it can be an opposite thought. Like, gosh, I wish I could get away with that. My metabolism just can't take it. I'm doomed to eat boring meals forever. Social media is not a true representation of reality. Social media is highly filtered. People only share what they want to. And to the onlooker, it can present a world that seems realistic, although most of the time, it's only idealistic. What you see is only the highlight, not the entire story. So, what's really going on? Most of the IIFYMers aren't eating all their favorite foods each and every meal. Now, favorite can be a subjective term, I get that. Someone could love all food equally, thus each food is their favorite. What I mean here is, when given a choice, most people will pick a juicy burger and fries over a bland piece of fish and boiled potatoes. Here's a scenario where the IIFYM diet can be deceptive. A real challenge for the casual IIFYMer. Let's take a look at the nutritional info from Burger King's Whopper Hamburger. We have the following, 31 grams of protein, 54 grams of carbohydrates, and 37 grams of fat. When you do the math, we have almost 700 calories. For a large, active man, this is a decently sized meal. For a smaller woman, this could be a big chunk, think almost half, of her daily calorie intake, depending on her goals, her weight, etc. To give this some more perspective, we'll use a real-life example. Hear that on tomorrow's episode. You just listened to part one of the post titled, Are IIFYMers Telling the Whole Truth? by J.C. Dean of jcdfitness.com. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. I have a friend who's really active on social media, but he came to me one day with a realization. He told me how frustrated he was comparing himself and his current life to others on social media. And he finally had this moment of enlightenment where he was telling me that he finally realized that what you see on social media isn't the whole truth. It's just what people choose to show you, but it doesn't mean that they're living their lives that way. You're just getting a very small snapshot of things that they want to show you. But he realized that spending all of this time on social media was making him feel badly about himself. So he had this moment where he realized he needs to be thankful. He needs to be grateful for what he has and appreciate what people are posting, but understand that he doesn't need to compare his life to theirs. Now, because people are only sharing a portion, a very small percentage of their actual lives on social media, we can get easily caught up in the next big thing, the next fad diet, the next fad workout, and think that we will achieve the same results. But as JC just explained, that may not be the case. There are actually cases, and you can find this on many news media outlets, stories where personal trainers will show before and after pics of themselves, but really, it's just them that very same day. What they'll do is they'll pooch out their stomach in the before shots, they'll have a beard, they'll make sure their hair is totally unkempt, and then for the after shot, they'll shave, they'll shave their head, they'll apply different lighting, usually overhead lighting, which makes the body look bigger, They'll apply oil to the skin to be sure that it really brings out that definition. They might shave their chests. They'll stand upright, suck in their bellies, flex their muscles, and now they'll use that as their after photo. And it looks like they've achieved these results by following a specific diet or specific workout plan. Or if you just work with me as your trainer, I can get you these results too. But it's all a fabrication. I'm not saying that that's every single case that you see on social media, But of course, we need to be smarter consumers. We need to be aware that this does happen. And so if you see someone claiming to consume a Burger King Whopper and how this fits within their current eating plan, well, maybe that seems too good to be true. All right, that'll do it for today. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening every day. I'll be back here tomorrow to finish up this post. So I'll see you there where your optimal life awaits.